Hi guys and welcome to Delphi tutorial of student database management system and let me show you guys how this works right here we have the monthly calendar and right below it are the different subjects then we have the the course and here details of the student guidance and more information about the student and the course we can always navigate though we only have one record in here now or we can just click on enter new data so let's assume the student name is as follows and the name of the student is Tony Montana there we go address of Montana is 17 Little Venice here let's see those are his grades there we go and all they need to do is to click on the result to check out how he's performing so we click on result there we go and the date as well and as you can see he's a second second class upper now and i will see you guys with a full tutorial shortly see you guys later bye for now and let's start work with a new tutorial so i'm going to go straight to file here and let's drop that down go to new select windows vcl application click on that now that the application is opened we now need to change the the properties of the form so make sure the form is selected and now let's come into height right there scroll right down uh, first of all let's change this caption to student management system there there's a caption there you might not be able to see it okay scroll right down we need the height let's see that's height there i'm going to change that to 740 yes yeah, 740 and the width i'm going to make that 1360 okay let's go for 1386 all right that's good now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to change this background color let's come up here and just change it to cadet blue let's see color just double click on it then it opens up this dialog okay so that's what you do you come in here because if you click on this drop down arrow that's what you get but i want to customize the color so double click on that and uh, drop this down the color that i want is known as cadet blue i'm going to enter that in there and change this one to 158 and the last one here i'm going to change that to 160 there that is it cadet blue now the next object that i want is the page control so let's type in page in there that's a t page control okay and just dump that in there now right click on it and let's create new page you see that right click again i will need two of those but first of all let's just position it properly then i'll just click on it again and select the other page right there okay now right click and i need to again select new page so we have two pages okay the very first page make sure that is selected let's go straight to the caption that is the caption there so i'm going to change that caption to maybe you call that school system and the second one i'm going to change the name of the second one to student details so we change that to student student details press enter and let's drag this page controller right down here 
Oh, let's select it all first. Yeah. Okay, now we can just drag right there. Now, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to add. Oh, first of all, let's come in here to the palette. I'm going to add panel. Yeah, that is it. Click on the panel. Let's draw one here. There we go. We have one panel there. I will need, in total, I will need about nine of those. So let me just drag this out of the way for now. And this as well. Yeah. So copy that. Paste. There we go. And another one. Copy both of them together. Copy and paste. There we go. That is fine. Place that there. And let's copy these two. Copy and just paste it right there. So now we're going to arrange it the way I want. Okay, guys, I finished the layout of the panels. So that's how I want them. So do you see this very one here? I'm going to change that to cadet blue as well. So double click on that. Um, let's go to customize and in here I'm just going to enter 90, 95, 158 and 160. There. All right, that is fine. So let's drag this one here again. And in here, the next thing I want is uh, I'm going to need a calendar. So on the panel here, let's type in calendar view or something like that. There we go. Look at it. All right, so let's put that one up here. There. Something like that. We don't have to amend that though. I think the font size seems to be too large, so we can always adjust that. Where's the font right here? Let's change that to something a little bit friendly. Right. Okay, that's looking how I want. All right. Now, I'm going to add a label. So come back here, just type in C label. There, just paste that label here. So I'm going to change the size of that red label to, let's see, make it bold and I'll make it about 18. There. And in here, I'm going to change that to 1. I'm going to label, change the text content on it to 1. There. So I'm going to copy it across. Let's just copy and paste. That will be 2. And that will be 3. Now we have 4. So we just copy the 4 again bring it down and I'm now going to change the text data on each of these buttons so this one will be 2 and that is 3 and so on okay the next thing is I'm going to add combo box here yeah? so let's say D B combo there I'll just drive that here somewhere and that very combo box, I'm going to change the fonts. Let's make that about 16. Font, make it at 16. Uh, 16 regular. That's fine. Okay, so I'm just going to copy it across. Hold on to your control, click and drag. Right there. It'll be the same thing for the next one. Paste. And so on, guys. Alright, that's fine. So the next thing I want now is I'm going to now add let's call that T T D B E edit. 
there grab that and just drag it somewhere here right something like that I'm going to change the font size as well so we make that 16 just click on that 16 regular okay so I'm gonna have copy it across copy because we have two now we have four paste bring that down right so that is fine I think before I go any further it would be a wise idea to save it so let's just say project us so I'm gonna call it student save and and the unit as well we call our students with an S there we go save alright and underneath here I'm just going to add the same text or text editor is called or edit something like that and this is going to be for total and so on so just drag it that much right there that's fine there and I'm going to grab this grab this very label let's paste it in here and change the data that we have in there all right so in there I'm just going to type in total score there now copy it again paste and paste one more all right this is going to be date and this next one is going to be ranking right now that that is done we really need about five of those here, so let's grab this very one. Paste five in there. We have one, two, we have four, and just one more. Okay, I'm gonna change these to change that to PhD. Let's say doctor, doctor of philosophy. Just put a field there. There we go this is going to be master of science and the next one is going to be master of art followed by bsc honors and ba honors there okay i also need the db combo box copy that and just dump it right in here and then reduce the size that much and I'm going to need five of those. Just copy, paste, copy again, paste, there, and just one more, paste. And these five components, I'm going to just grab hold of them, copy it, and just paste it on the other side. Copy everything and paste it right in here and let's change this to home student international student and right here we change that to accommodation exchange student on exchange program it's a program and here is student on scholarship brilliant that is done so here I'm going to add just one combo box up here I'll undo that I need just one combo box okay so just get rid of the others I'm also going to need this text box anyway the one combo box will be right today and we need seven text box Let's copy this one so we have two, three. Copy and paste it right here. There. Just drag it that much. There we go. 
Okay, that is that all done. Now, let's copy this again. I'm going to need it for the details here. Copy. That's going to be for the students' information. I'm going to need nine there. So copy this again. Copy and just paste it there. Right. Now, let's copy this other one. Four. And we have another one, six. We need three more paste. Okay, just one more copy and paste that to right there. Good. And I'm going to need let's count one, two, three, four. This one I'm gonna get rid of that. I need the uh, kind of like DB combo box here. Right, bring it here there scroll right down and here we need the parents details in there or guidance details in there so first thing first because we can always copy from here so let me change all of this around so this one is going to be student ID so come right in here student ID then first name and so on I've taken care of the student details in there so let's take care of the guidance details see so I'm going to copy just this four and just paste it in there yeah that's fine put that down and this down then we need two more one two copy paste right there all done all right so we will tidy up later on anyway okay that's that's okay for now and right here I'm gonna need buttons here two buttons let's type in TB and paste one here copy that and another one here yeah, something like that now I then need the navigator TDBN there we go there we grab that and just paste it right here there guys that is it done okay I think I'm done with the design of the interface all I just need to do now is to tidy up let's run it and see how that's gonna look like it's coming up now there we go look at that that's how it's looking now although it looks a bit messy so I'm gonna tidy up the whole setting okay so let's come down here I'm gonna start with the buttons first change this one to exit and the fonts let's come down here change the font to something readable let's come down just make that maybe about 18 uh, could be more though let's say 20 and the next one here I'm going to make that about 20 as well and then enter reset there results let's enter result there not reset okay come straight to the text and the caption there we go so I'm going to now name every single component and um, I'll get back to you guys so let's do that first okay all done guys there let me just run it and I show it to you guys how it looks like let's see it's coming up there we go so move this up here that is how the whole interface looks for now but there's nothing happening so far nothing is happening now what I want to do is add a TD grill there so stop it and come back in here now let's type in here let's see T TDB grill there we go grab that and just draw it right here
all right I'm just gonna use that to, to display the information of the students that's fine so we have our data grill there okay so let's run it one more time well so far guys it's looking good okay I'm going to exit out here and the first thing I like to do now is to get hold of the database this very database here okay it's called school system and that is it this is the that's the table I'm going to be using so let's exit out and right here let's copy the database okay and I'm going to paste it right inside my directory here there we go that's the database right inside my project directory so I can then minimize that now the next thing I want to do is to get hold of my connectors so you see right inside this palette here let's type in ADO connect that is a right there okay I'm gonna select here so that I can paste it confidently in there so there we go right so now that the HDO is pasted right in here the next thing that I want to do is come to the properties okay the pro inside the properties we need the connection string that is it right there so inside this very connection string we need the address the address of this if you select it you should be able to get hold of the address go to the properties that is the address there or you can just come up here just right click and select copy address text now let's come right in here but make sure your ADO connection is selected so let's come into the connection string click on the three dots in there and here this dialog box that pops up you now want to select build inside the build select Microsoft 16.0 access database engine and click on next now paste the location that you copy paste it right in there but make sure it include the name of the file itself now you see where we have admin get rid of the admin and the blank password uncheck that and below that is the text connection click on the text connection test connection succeeded click on ok so everything is fine and now the next thing we want to do is go straight to the advanced inside the advanced we want to click on read write so that we can write to the database itself and read from it so that is it is checked click on ok now inside this dialog just click on ok all the setting is done one more setting left scroll right down and what I want to take care of is the login prompt if you don't uncheck the login prompt the system is going to ask you to confirm your to enter the login details so I'm going to uncheck that so that is fine now okay now that we've taken care of that the next thing we want to do is to get hold of the ADO table click in there type in a d o table there we go grab hold of the aid o d a table you can paste it right here as well and now inside the a d o table you can ice you can also use the same address or you can just click on connection you can paste your address here if you want the choice is yours or you can use on connection because we already have ADO connection one so I might as well just click on connect and select ADO connection one that is fine now scroll right down 
you see where we have table name there are two tables there I want to select the one that says school system there and one more connection to go through scroll right up you see where we have active make sure it's checked that becomes true now the database is connected and one more thing we also need the data source grab the data source you can just paste it anywhere that's it the data source you see this very data source and I want it or I'm now going to connect it you see where we have data set click on the data set drop this drop that down and select AGO connect it to the table that is that done so every other thing is done the only thing that is left now is for me to start connecting the whole database to the components so first of all I'm going to start with the navigator here click on the navigator scroll right down look for the data source there click on the data source and select data source so the navigator is officially connected now let's go back to the tab or page control here let's click on my my D, db grill I'm now going to connect the DB grill. So let's come in here. Data source. Click on that. There we go. Look at it. The database is officially connected. But we do have a problem. The problem we have is we are only seeing just two fields. Now, to take care of that, first of all, I'm just going to minimize this for now. We'll come back to that right click on your db grill and let's select column editor with the column editor selected you see here click on select all add all fields there all of my field is officially added so now i'm going to come in here select the student id scroll right down with the student ID you can see the the width is 64 select the first name the first name is 1534 let's change that to 70 surname repeat the same thing I'm gonna make that about 70 address I'm gonna make that about 120 postcode we can make that maybe 50 and so on guys so let's take care of that and I'll get back to you guys shortly and there we go guys all of the connections are now taken care of and I've also adjust the column for each of the data that is it that's how it's looking right okay now let's go back into our main interface select the school tab we now want to connect each of these okay so make sure it's selected scroll right down and let's come to the data source here and make sure that is connected there to student ID okay you can select it all if you want and just connect it all in one go scroll right down data source there we go look at that okay now the other thing is while you select each individual you come in here you make sure the data source is selected that is the data source okay and the field name you must change the field name the field name in this case is first name and a very good example is supposing I change it to let's say building yeah look at the building what well, we all know is first name so let's change that back to first name there we go 
that is that all done so the same thing will be repeated for all of these other components select it all and change the data source and the field name bring it down data source yes data source one there we go now let's come to the next one here select it all change the data source and the field name the field name in this case is building so change the data source there we go and just like that repeat the same thing for the others data source will be data source one there that is fine okay now let's come into the university information here select all of those and change it to data source as well data source one and all of these as well to data source one the fields i've already added those because that would take a long time all right let's come into the grades here select all of the grades sorry the units select all the units I think I can select the grids as well. Select it all. And let's select total ranking and date. And there we go, guys. All done. There. So if I let's save it first and I'm gonna run it and just see how that looks like. There we go. That's how it's looking now all of this data they are actually from my database okay since I have two in there you see we can navigate to the other one and there is all working as we want and we can also click on add new data and just add as as many as you want but for now result and exit button are not doing anything let's take care of those then we can start adding some more data into them right that's how it's looking and uh, just for information the database i'm using is right here this very one here okay let's open it up so that you guys can see it again that is it that's the database i'm using so close that and minimize that all right exit out and let's double click on the exit button we do have a lot of work to do because all of these combo box and so on we need to put in some data into them but for now let's take care of the exit button first double click on the exit there and right in here as you can see the name of the exit button is called btn exit so right in there i'm going to use an if statement so let's say if message that would be message d l i g let's say confirm if you want to exit Okay, that's my very first argument so put a question mark in there then comma underneath now I'm going to use one of the methods in there or oh, this one should be alright so one of the method I'm going to use is going to be empty confirm no confirmation empty confirmation and let's get rid of this empty confirmation comma square bracket m b yes that's one of the argument and m b no that's the second argument Close that very square bracket comma now I'm going to enter zero in there which means the argument that that is argument zero that's the one I intend to use comma 
M B yes and let's close that very bracket now I'm going to say the one I'm settling for is Mr. Yes then let's begin and this is what I want you to do application dot terminate there we go that's it let's get rid of this and I think that's it with the exits yep the exit is taken care of I'm gonna save that let's run it and see how that's gonna work there we go and click on the exit no I don't want to exit yes I do want to exit so exit is fine now let's go back to design view I'm going to select my form because uh, I want it when I click on when I want to run the form I want it to fill up the screen so let's go to align let's make sure the form itself is selected do that again or bring it down let's see I want to make sure I've select the form here yeah, that's the form so I need a line that is it right there and just select that at top all top something like that run there we go now that is working fine now the next thing that I would like to do now is you see when I select this I want to be able to display all of the all of this data in here and if I select any of those data I want it to populate the information that we have on this text box or BD edit so let's exit out first but first thing first we need to take care of the form load double click on the form load right inside the form load I'm going to first of all take care of the dates so let's go back to the form load so first of all let's declare a local variable in here and this local variable I'm going to call it current date and current date is taken in T date and time as the data type there that is fine let's declare another one I'm gonna call that I I that is going to be an integer I'm going to use that for a for loop good so now let's grab hold of this current date and right underneath begin I want current dates to be dates now there and current date we need to assign current date into the text edit well, let's do this first db edit db edit date that is the name of my of this very edit so have a, I'll take a good look at it here okay db ted db edit date dot text and that will be column equals we need to convert date to string okay make sure that is converted and um, what are we converting current date close that so that will take care of the date whatever the date is it will automatically change to that if you go let's go back in there you see the date is 18 and today's date is 20 so let's run it and see I should get the correct date in there now there we go look at the current date all right so that is fine close that now the other thing I want to do is I want to be able to populate the male and female here you see this dialog here let's go back up there right there so once the form loads I want this 
the end user to be able to select either male, female or male so double click on the form and right underneath here I'm gonna say DB that is combo box gender dot items dot odd and very false data is going to be female there and the next one will be male copy and paste that is male there we go okay let's also take care of the I'm gonna grab this first I want to take care of the cost code when I talk about the cost the code the, the courses I mean let me show you guys the courses I'm talking about see male female that's taken care of that's fine here I need to be able to select whatever course now exit out come back into the form load it's called form create here okay I'm, we are not in visual studio or anything or visual basic c sharp or whatever so that's going to be db combo course dot text and the very first text that i'm wanting there is going to be select this is select a course there now followed by the following copy i'm going to just paste i'm going to paste all of those in there let's copy again i think about eight yeah about eight copy and just change the details around now the next one is going to be bsc serious games the next course that's going to be bsc the computing or oh no computer science and so on that is it all done so if I run it now and let's see how that's gonna work drop this down you see when I select any of the courses I want you to change all of the information we have in here okay before I go any further I'm gonna take care of the this as well okay so I want the parent to be either guidance or whatever so let's come down here db combo parent and i'm going to grab this add item and the item that i'm adding in there that is the very first one is going to be let's say mom or mother all right that's fine so let's go for that And we have that here. Oh, father. Then we have sister. And we have brother. Okay. Then finally, I'm just going to base this one on guiding. There we go. That is that done. And that is for the parents or guardian or whatever. Okay now let's take care of the other so this one is done that's good this is done now and this is done yeah we now need to take care of these these and all of these ones we still have a lot to go through now let's take care of this other information here so i want to be able to drop this down and select yes or no and this one to give me new numeric data okay let's exit out 
yeah oh look at that confirm if you want to uh, let's correct that come in here and just double click on exit that should have been confirmed if you want to exit all right taking care of okay then now let's go back to our form create right here underneath form create I am going to enter the following again so the name of this component is DB combo home as the very first one there paste and it's going to be either no or yes no or yes now copy that and change that to yes there that is it taken care of now i'm going to copy both components now and uh, i have about five of those so that'll be two three four five okay so this is going to be international student and just copy the international paste it to the next for the next one here there and I then have accommodation there and the next one accommodation followed by exchange right and this one is going to be exchange as well the one right underneath and finally I have scholarship scholarship there should be an R there okay all right that is fine taken care of okay that's fine so let's save that and run it right so when we click on this now we can get no we can get yes and so on okay that's fine all right so let's exit out we need to take care of this one now what we want is numeric data in there so in the case of that i am going to use a for loop remember the local variable i that i declared earlier i'm going to use that very local variable underneath here now so let's say for i that is going to be column equals um i'm going to make it zero zero two nine there okay so let's get rid of this one zero to nine that is my so now i don't want db db combo b a dot items dot add and what am I adding? I'm adding I. There. Okay, the very first one is taken care of. Well, hold on. Hang on a second. We need to convert it though. So let's convert um, int to string. There. And end it with a semicolon here. Else we will end up with an error. right so i'm going to run that run that should actually give me zero two nine let's see it's coming up there drop it down we now have zero two nine so you have nine years to complete your bsc but the standard year is just three years okay that is good now the order let me just enter the order that's uh, bsc whatever so we'll copy that i'm going to paste that underneath here that would be for bsc there that's taken care of run 
Okay, BSC. Nope, we don't have tan in here. No, no, we don't want that. Okay, I'm going to cheat. Let's come in here and just copy this, paste it right in there underneath here. Okay, run. So that should solve that very problem. There might be another way of doing it. So you guys can always figure that out. So I have my loop here is working here and there I only have three more to go so let's come down here exit out yes exit let's copy and paste there and just one more and I'll take care of all that there now two is done we now need to take care of this this is going to be M A. Yeah, Master of Art. Oh, uh, yeah, must you know? I think the routine there is, yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's much better. And this one is going to be Master of Science. And science, I think. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, no error, that is fine as well. And the next one here, I think I, that's for PhD. There. All right. Like I said, there might be another way to do that. You guys can do that. Okay, run. So I've just gen finished generating all the numeric data. There we go, look at that, zero to nine. And the next one, and the next one, and the next one. So that is fine. So let's align this a little bit properly. Yeah, end that. And go back in here. Just, uh, where is it? That's it right there. Let's bring it in. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, now that is done. Then the next thing I want to do now is to add all the necessary subjects in here. So this one is called unit one. So for unit one, let's grab the name. This should be a little bit easy because it's all called unit one, two, and so on. All right, so go back into the form load or form create is called. Come right down here, form create. So that is going to be that and paste that in there that's uh, unit one and what will be inside unit one i'm going to change that to data data science there that's the first one the second part of unit one is going to be event driven program event driven program there we go that's for unit one so let's take care of unit two copy that unit two three four five six seven eight there so this is going to be two two three and three no three Four, four, five and five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, and eight. Yeah. So they all have their own different unit now, but uh, we need to just change it around to make it a little bit more different. So this one is going to be objects, object oriented. And underneath here, let's just say spreadsheet or whatever. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I guess you guys get the whole idea. I'm going to speed that up. Okay, all done, guys. 
So let's run it and see how that's going to look like. It's coming up. There we go. So they all have their own different units now. That's fine. Okay. Now, let's take care of this one. So whatever is selected in here, I just want it to populate all of these data in here. So let's end that. Go to design view. Now let's double click on that very combo box. There we go. That's it right here. This one. Double click on it. Now the very first thing is let's use an if statement. If the combo box that is called calls if dot text whatever text is inside it is uh, let's assume it's a bsc serious game there if you notice when i say equals there's no colon in there okay that is how the structure is here so when you want to refer to whatever is in there that's how you you actually structure it so the very first one is going to be oh let's let's just end that yeah i don't want that error okay the very first one here is the very first condition is going to be d b e or d b edit that is called course code dot text that will be equals so this is just the course code so we we'll make that up we just call that b s c g maybe s three five four something like that okay that's taken care of the next one is going to be let me copy this the next one is going to be for we'll copy it all paste that's going to be for faculty so changes to faculty so as for the faculty let's see why do i have an error there i guess the spelling is right okay and this as for the faculty change the faculty to school of computer science right now let's go for the next one so the next one is going to be dean of faculty maybe just grab this paste so we change this one to Dean the Dean of faculty is who we can change that to maybe professor or whatever professor Dio Mary there yeah. Let's go back in there double click on that and end this here and this as well there and the next one copy paste the next condition is going to be head of school change that one to H O right the head of school we can say professor whatever uh, let's say gambino let's say james gambino right why not that's the head of school okay now the next one and that is supposed to be the program leader program leader and a program leader 
we can just call that Dr. Peter. Peter Stone. There. We almost done with that. So who is left? We have call we need course leader. Course leader and the building name. Okay. Here that will be course course tutor. Course tutor can be maybe doctor something. Doctor Kelvin. Mill. Yeah, that's fine. And this one that is going to be building. So the building name we can just call that Kelly's house. Kelly's house. There. And that is the very first condition if you select BSC serious game. So let's try that out now before we then populate the rest. Run. Okay. Decision time. There we go. Look at that. So that is working fine. So exit out. So I'm now going to copy all of these and just change it around for the others. Copy. Come right down here and I'm going to use else if else paste and just change it around so let's speed that up all right guys that is it all done let me show you guys the lines of codes there we go it's exactly the same lines of code so, so take it from the top here and bring it down change it to whatever you like and there we go those are my conditions of any selection made all right so let's come in here now we now need to take care of the last one which is the result button double click on that the result button i am going to first of all declare an array there let's say variable and let's assume my array is called score so the score is an array and it's going to start from zero dot dot let's make it nine so that is how array is declared numeric array is declared in here. even um even string character array is the same so this is supposed to be integer so it's totally different from other programming language the way it's declared so this should be a square bracket yeah, that's it square brackets so that error is gone now I'm going to start with the first one so as you all know that we have to start from zero so that one is equals my very first so that's going to be string convert from string to from string to integer and what am I converting that's going to be D B E score one dot text so that's the very first one so I'm going to copy this so DB is score one that is this is it right there this very one okay that's the name right there back to the code there are eight of them so i'm going to copy and just paste it and change things around copy that and change we have two three four eight okay this is two three four five six seven and eight so those are my text box in there and this is going to be one two three four five six and seven now array number eight i'm going to use that to 
total everything so put array number eight in there so array number eight equals as follows column equals let's add up everything we have in here this plus so just copy that all right so this is going to be one two three four five six and seven so i've just added i've just added up everything in this added up store inside score eight Alright, so now score number 8 is going to now store the value right in here. I want it in here. And what is the name? Okay, that is uh, DB Edit Total. So back in the code. DB Edit Total dot text. That will be equals. We need to convert from int to string and what are we converting we are actually converting score 8 there we go there that is our taken care of as well so if I run it now and let's say we want to enter new value click on the plus sign here and we enter data in here let's grab anything in here there and right here enter the following score there if I click on result I should be able to get the result right there but I don't want it to store into the system so I'm not going to refresh it yet okay good it's not there right now let's exit out that is working we now want to decide is this score is it for first class second class or third class fail or whatever and today's date so now let's come back right underneath here let's use an if statement if you can always put that maybe you guys can create a function for that let's just enter or you can just do it the way I want to do it. If score 8, this one here, copy paste that in here. If score 8 is greater than and equals to 700, then begin by entering as follows d db edit ranking dot text equals first class there enter an apostrophe here Okay, that's the first, very first condition taken care of. The next one is going to be else. So come right down here. First of all, let's get rid of that and just come right down here and use it else if I'm going to copy that. Yeah, copy all of that. else if if it is uh, let's say 600 greater than and equals to 600 then this is going to be second class second dot i second class offer that's that done now let's take care of the next condition. The next condition is if it's uh, 
greater than equals to 500 that's going to be second okay that's going to be 2 2 lower yeah and if it's 400 change that to 4 in the case of 4 that's going to be third class third class and if it's 300 is 300 in the case of 300 that's a failure so but you end up with certificate of higher education there and anything lower that is a fail come down here paste less than 299 and that is going to be fail yeah I think I am done with this program yeah so take a good look at these lines of code guys let's take it from where I added up everything array declared array added total of array stored in here it's using the score to find out your grading or your ranking okay that is it so come right down and there let's run the program run there we go as the first one so let's refresh and enter new data so click on the plus sign there we go and enter new data here so let's say that's the student id the name of the student let's say is david or dave dave anderson an address number 13 kings Kings Road. Okay, I'm gonna just speed up the data of the event. The same just enter whatever in here and I'll get back to you guys once I speed that up. Let's say it's in the 40 here and the rest is zero. Okay, we we'll speed that up and get back to you guys shortly. That is it all done, and that's it guys. And now let's refresh and come right in here. We should be able to see the details of Dave Anderson. Look at that. Okay, details of Dave Anderson is added onto the system. And the let's check out the database as well. I'm gonna open that up. We'll click on the database and there we go. That is the details of or oh, those are the details of Dave Anderson. All right, so it's working as we expect. So with that, guys, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoy it. And please do subscribe to my channel. And you can also join to become a member of the channel. So with that, I'm going to say bye for now. You guys have a nice day.